I have changed my stance on Jasmine Coin. If you've been part of my channel, you know that I had a price target of 13 cents, and I thought that could be the top. Well, I think it can actually go a lot higher, and in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why that is. It's gonna be a very detailed video on the charts in the short term, but also in the long term, guys. So all I ask is that you drop a like, you subscribe, of course, if you're into Jasmine Coin, because I think this could actually melt faces, like literally. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So let's get right into it. Of course, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. This is all my own opinion, and you should always do your own research at the end of the day. But as always, guys, don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Now, before I tell you short term where I think we're going next on this next pump, I wanna zoom out and show you long term. Ultimately, what I think can happen, and I think this is going to be for a lot of coins, especially ones like Dogecoin that I talk about, XRP, um, definitely Jasmine. I definitely think this could happen. And we're going to talk about what market cap needs to be and circling supply and all of that in a minute. So just give me a second. But I do think we could get to here or to here. This is based off of Fibonacci. Okay. And I brought it conservatively to a point where Jasmine topped out at. Um, and basically, I believe that we're gonna land somewhere between 40 cents and 65 cents at the market top, potentially. Now, here's the tricky thing. Is 40 to 65 cents going to happen this cycle or is it going to happen the next cycle? Because we know the halving just happened. So we have about, I would say six to 18 months till the market top for this cycle. Then it's going to go into a bear market. And it kind of makes sense also with the stock market too, that might happen. So we have anywhere from six to 18 months to find the top for cryptos. Bear market, then the next halving comes around. That's the question. Is that when we're going to hit to 40 to 65 cents or is it going to happen this cycle? Well, I don't know and no one knows. But ultimately, I think we get to 40 to 65 cents which would be absolutely amazing because Jasmine is trading under two cents right now. And you can do the math on the return on investment if this happens. The main reason I think this could happen is based off Fibonacci, which you can see right here. It's a great tool to use for stocks and crypto. I've been using it for a long time now. And that's the first reason. Now let's understand market cap and circulating supply. And then I'll show you my short term price targets for Jasmine. So guys, if you're new to the channel, we always talk about this. We can see the market cap is actually climbing up. Uh, yesterday we were under 800 million or two days ago and I said, this is a buying opportunity. Anything under a billion, absolutely buying opportunity. And I've said, we've been holding the support and I don't even need to go into it, right? I don't need to prove myself anymore. I've been very clear on what's going to happen with Jasmine. And the thing has played out exactly as I've said. So circulating supply, 49.3 billion. Let's just say it's 49 billion, max supply, 50 billion. Okay, so this is what we need to look at. All time high, 499, doesn't really matter. Let's say nothing gets locked up. No coins get burned, none of this crazy stuff. Let's just take the circulating supply, okay, right here. And what does the market cap need to be if Jasmine hits 40 cents? So this is what we're gonna do. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the circulating supply, you're gonna times that by 40 or 40 cents. So 0 0.40, circulating supply times 0 0.40. That'll give you a market cap of about 19.7 billion for Jasmine coin. So if Jasmine could hit a market cap of about 19 billion, this will be worth 40 cents. Is it possible? Absolutely, I think so. The question is, how long is it going to take to get there? What's the news that's going to come out that's going to push this thing up higher? You guys let me know down below. This is just to kind of explain and help you understand circulating supply and market cap and Fibonacci because I think that's a very, very real thing. And that could be the absolute top for Jasmine this cycle or next cycle. Who really knows? Let's talk about short term where I believe Jasmine is going next. And honestly, what I think will absolutely happen this cycle, regardless what happens, as more money comes into crypto, as Bitcoin pushes higher, I think these price targets I'm about to give you will absolutely happen, right? Again, it's just my own opinion. You should always look into other sources yourself 
and do what's best for your family. But let's get right into that. So we got the weekly time frame up here right now. This is the stochastic, this is the RSI. You can see we've obviously been selling off. We talk a lot about the stochastic and RSI when they're at very high points. And the stochastic's at a high point, it's time to sell. On a weekly time frame, the RSI on Jasmine got up to 92, that point right there. So that's very, very overbought, especially for a weekly time frame. And that's why we're seeing the sell off right now for Jasmine coin. The good news is we are holding the middle line, the middle Keltner line right there. I'm not sure if you could see it, but ultimately we haven't even done, we haven't even gotten to the 236 level yet based off the Fibonacci that I just shared with you. So looking at it short term, what I absolutely think can happen and will happen, and I'll list the reasons why, is one, I think we're gonna get up to the 236 level on a Fib, which is literally six cents, guys. So I've said four, six to five was my next area short term, but I think we can actually push up to six cents. I do think there will be heavy, heavy resistance here though. A couple different reasons why. One, I think the RSI will be pretty high again. We'll have to look and see on a weekly time frame if this is creating negative divergence. What negative divergence means is basically when the, the price, the stock or the crypto actually makes higher highs, and the RSI makes lower highs, negative divergence, very bearish, okay? That would tell me it's time to sell and then buy back in, obviously, after it cools down, kind of like what's happened here. But you can also see there's gonna be some resistance right here. What was support before turned into resistance when it broke down. The next area I'm looking for is a 382 level, which is about nine and a half to 10 cents, okay? Very mental level being 10 cents. Now, this is gonna take some time, I think, to get there. Again, I don't know where the top is as of right now. I don't know if it's going to be 40, 65 cents or if it's going to be somewhere around these FIB levels. We'll know sooner. We'll know when, honestly, when we see the total crypto market cap and we see where Bitcoin is, points of resistance for Bitcoin and all these other altcoins will probably line up with Jasmine too. So you want to understand the stochastic and RSI. Guys, if you want to learn more about this and my exact strategy on when I plan to take profit, check out the links out down below. You could pay for the whole year, you get 12% off. It's less than $100 for the whole year. You get access to posts, videos, Discord. Um, we have a great community where a lot of people talk about different stocks and crypto. So check out the links out down below. But you also want to look right here. Going to be a heavy point of resistance as well. You could see a lot of wicks, a lot of what used to be support turned into resistance when we crashed through. So we're going to have to test these areas and we're going to have to break through it again to ultimately get a lot higher. This is why this these are going to be some points where you can actually trade the crypto and collect more coins overall if you know exactly what you're doing. So with that, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Appreciate you all for liking, subscribing, sharing this video, always commenting, letting me know your thoughts on it. We'll see you on the next one.